long ago, almost 3,000 years, a man called Isaiah foretold that a young woman would have a son who would be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Then many years later, about 2,000 years ago, when King Herod ruled Judea, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman who lived in the town of Nazareth. The girl's name was Mary, and she was engaged to marry Joseph. Gabriel said to Mary, Peace be with you. God has blessed you and is pleased with you. Mary was very surprised by this and wondered what the angel meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid. God has been very kind to you. You will give birth to a baby boy and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son and his kingdom will never end. Mary was very afraid, but she trusted God. Let it happen as God chooses, she said to the angel. Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth, who everyone thought was too old to have children, would have a baby boy whom God had chosen to prepare the way for Jesus. Joseph was worried when he found out that Mary was expecting a baby before their marriage had taken place. He wondered if he should put off the wedding altogether. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Don't be afraid to have Mary as your wife. The angel explained that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son and told Joseph that the baby would be named Jesus, which means saviour, because he would save people. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him to do and took Mary as his wife. At this time, the, the land where Mary and Joseph lived was the part of, of the Roman Empire. The Roman Emperor wanted to have a list of all the people in the Empire to make sure they paid their taxes. He ordered everyone to return to the town where their families originally came from and enter their names in a register or census. There, Mary and Joseph tracked over the long way from Nazareth to Bethlehem, because that is where Joseph's family came from. Joseph and Mary travelled very slowly because Mary's baby was due to be born soon. When they reached Bethlehem, they had problems finding somewhere to stay. So many people had come to register their names in the census that every house was full and every bed was taken in all of the guest rooms. The only place to stay that they could find was with the animals. So in the place where the animal slept, Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus' bed was in the manger that the animals ate their hay from. In the hills and fields outside Bethlehem, shepherds looked after the sheep through long night. Suddenly an angel appeared. The shepherds were very, very scared. But the angel said, don't be afraid. I've got news for you and everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a saviour has been born for you. You will find the baby lying in a manger. Then many more angels appeared, lighting up the sky. The shepherds had heard them praising God, singing, Glory to God in highest, and peace to everyone on earth. When the angels had gone, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem to see what has happened. So the shepherds went to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph. The baby Jesus was lying in a manger as they had been told. When they saw him, they told everyone what the angel had said, and everyone who heard the story were astonished. Then the shepherds returned to their sheep, praising God for sending his son to be their saviour. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Some wise men in faraway countries saw the saw their star and guessed what it meant. They were very clever men that studied the stars and had read in very old writings that a new star would appear when a great king was born. They set out to find the new king and bring him gifts. The wise men followed the star towards the country of Judea and when they got to the capital of Jerusalem, they began to ask, Where is the child who was born to be king of the Jews? Herod, the king of Judea, heard this and it made him very angry to think that someone might be going to take his place as king. Herod sent for the wise men and to come to him. He told them to go and follow the star until they had found the baby king. He said, when you have found him, let me know where he is so that I can go and worship him. But Herod did not tell him and tell them that he really had an evil plan in mind to kill the new king. The wise men followed the star towards Bethlehem, where the old writing said that the king would be born. 
The stars seemed to stop and shine directly down upon the place where Jesus was. The wise men entered the house where Jesus now lived and found Jesus with Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. The wise men gave Jesus gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh. Then they were warned in a dream by God not to go back to Herod, so they returned home to the countries in the east by a different way. So the promise God had made hundreds of years before had come true. He was here, Emmanuel, God with us, God with us. Merry Christmas!